These days there are a growing number of options for removing emissions from cars. Take Tesla's new and more affordable Model 3 for example. But before you drop 35 grand in the name of lower emissions, you may want to consider another technology that is contending for a place in powering future vehicles, the hydrogen fuel cell powered electric vehicle. So let's take a look at the pros and cons of owning a hydrogen vehicle. The attraction of hydrogen fuel cell power sources is that they don't produce carbon dioxide and they overcome the range problem that is likely to plague battery powered cars for some time to come. The best battery powered cars have a range of less than about 300 miles before they need to spend time on a charger. And that's great if you're cruising around town, not so great if you need to travel more than 300 miles. In that case, you'll have to find a charging station and sit around while the car gets juiced up. That will take four to six hours for ordinary charging, or about 30 minutes if you're lucky enough to find a Tesla supercharging station. But refueling time isn't a problem with the fuel cell. It takes about five minutes to fill a tank of one of the fuel cell powered prototypes that automakers have now put on the roads and the range of these vehicles is about the same as the best battery-powered cars. However, hydrogen has its own practicality issues. There are 33 hydrogen stations in the U.S., and most of them are in California. So, will the hydrogen fuel cell car be the vehicle of choice? It's hard to say. Both hydrogen fuel cells and batteries have issues with practicality, so only time will tell if hydrogen will be the way of the future. Don't forget to check out eeworldonline.com for the latest news and information. I'm Kelsey Ferrante. Have a great week.